This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Wednesday of the fourth week of Lent. Today's reflection is entitled, Unity with God. Jesus answered the Jews, My Father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own Father, making himself equal to God. Jesus was clearly guilty of grave sins in the opinion of those who sought to put him to death. He did not follow their Sabbath laws in the way they thought he should, and he revealed that he was equal to the Father. This would be a serious sin on Jesus' part if he were wrong, but obviously he wasn't. At the heart of this passage is the unity of the Father and the Son. The verses following this passage reveal even more clearly that the Father and the Son are one, and that Jesus' whole life is caught up in the fulfillment of the will of the Father. It is precisely this oneness of will that brings about their unity. This reveals much to us about the relationship of the Father and the Son, and it also reveals much to us about our own relationship with the Father and the Son. First of all, the Father and the Son are distinct persons, each possessing a perfect intellect and will. However, their oneness came about through the fact that their minds were in perfect harmony knowing all things equally and perfectly believing what they know. As a result of their perfect shared knowledge, they both embraced every detail of the plan of the Father as it was laid out from the foundation of the world. As for us, we can take from this understanding of the unity of the Father and the Son the glorious lesson on how we enter into unity with God. This happens, first, by seeking the mind of God. We must probe the glorious mysteries contained therein and must make them our own knowledge. Second, we must believe what we come to know through an act of our will. As we discover the truth, we must choose it for our lives. The challenge is that there are numerous competing voices vying for our attention. As we sort through them, choosing only that which God reveals, we naturally become attracted to the mind and will of God and make them our own. In this act, we also become one with God. Reflect today upon the unity you are called to live with the Father and the Son, It is this unity that brings fulfillment to your life. It's what you were made for. Seeking, believing, and embracing anything else is simply living by a lie. Seek the mind and will of God in all things and your whole being will be drawn into greater unity with God. Let us pray. Father in heaven, I thank you for the gift of Jesus, your Son, and I thank you for the unity that you both share. Draw me into that glorious unity established by your minds and wills. Make me one with you so that you also are my Father. Father in heaven, Jesus the Son, I trust in you.